I've been pretty blessed to be able to have my own gym at my house and batting cage and so you know for the most part you know my, my routine kind of stays the same uh, I wake up early in the morning trying to get my workout in before the little one uh, uh, gets up and then once he does then uh, try to wait for uh, nap time to to do the rest of the stuff <laughs> when when you were obviously we're going through spring training with a new team and then all of this kind of happened what was I mean emotion wise for you what were you thinking when all this was unfolding because here you are like you said it's different surroundings different team and then all of this unfolds oh man it was, it was crazy uh you're with a new team you want to get going you want to get out on the field and you know you got all these plans uh, and all these goals you want to meet and then all of a sudden you got to put it in the back burner until, until, um, everything gets resolved. But, uh, for the most part, you know, I've been, I've been blessed to the, and the fact that, um, nobody in my family so far has, uh, been infected by it or, or had it. So, uh, you know, we're staying healthy and that's, that's all I can ask for. You did have a spring training and you're excited to obviously come to Chicago to a new team. What were your first impressions of some of the guys in the clubhouse when you were still all together and getting to know each other? Were you, did you feel like you were able to form some bonds before all of this happened? Oh yeah, without a doubt. You know, we have, uh, like you mentioned, you know, a new team, new personalities, uh, but the game's the same. It doesn't change. So uh, we got a lot of things done in spring training. Um, a lot of things that we needed. For the most part, I thought it was great. I thought uh, it, it gave us it gave us a time to to kind of get to know each other, and um, it, it's going to help us out once we start going again. Obviously, in a normal situation, you know, you'd be rolling through the season right now. You are coming off a big year in Milwaukee. Now that you're in Chicago, what excited you about coming to a team like the White Sox, given the year that you had and you know, the time that you've spent. Seeing the team that, that the White Sox had and what the future kind of holds for them and what, what, what their expectations are, what their goals are, you know, it got me excited. So from the get you know, they started looking at them. Uh, uh, it, it just got a little bit more exciting. And, you know, once uh, once I signed, you know, I figured, you know, I could help the, this team uh, get to where they need to be. And, uh, you know, our main goal is, is to get better on a daily basis and have these young guys kind of just go about their business and play the game like uh, like I know they, they're capable of. And if they're, they're able to do that, I think we're going to be pretty successful. What were some of your first impressions of Chicago pre-shutdown <laughs> before everything came to a halt? But what were some of your first impressions? Another reason why I signed in Chicago is because of my wife. So she... She was like, yeah, I mean, I, I love the, the city of Chicago, so that would definitely be a, a, a city uh, that she was interested in. And, you know, I have family there, so it kind of it kind of blended together. So uh, I, I, I love pizza, so that's, <laughs> that's number one. Uh, so I was sold on that right away. And as soon as she said, uh, you know, that it would be a city that, that she would like to live in, and, you know, that was, that was pretty much the selling point.